first check the nitrogen pressure, which is the load force. The nitrogen pressure goes into the nitrogen gas piston. Press nitrogen press load button. Check the pressure, 32.77. It should be between 30 to 35 bar. This is good. Press again, and it is complete. Locking wheel hub to lock for both calibration and operation. To lock the axle, the rear axle can be locked with a 36 millimeter wrench, as shown here. Or if it's attached to a vehicle, it will not move forward. The idea is not to have the T5 move forward during this operation of friction calibration. Install the digital scale on its device. There's a band that will go around the measure tire. Installing this band with a screwdriver keeps it nice and tight as shown. The friction calibration will be done in two steps, low and high, low 20 kilograms, high 70 kilograms. Go to start friction calibration and you're shown 20 kilograms. Turning this knob will cause tension. It rotates the tire which increases tension on the friction cell from the friction drive belt. At 20 kilograms, press OK. The next step, the high step, is 70 kilograms. Continue to turn. You can also aid this uh, to get to 70 kilograms quicker by lowering with the knob, which I'll show you later how that was done. Then we return to 0 kilograms and press OK, and the calibration is complete. After pressing OK, this calibrated OK is shown on the screen. The friction calibration is complete. The test sensors needs to be done to verify that friction calibration is good. These buttons on the side of the T5 on the electronic control unit can move the wheel up and down quicker to get to a checkpoint. Here you see it's been lowered and is showing 77 kilograms. That matches what's on the computer. It's okay. Remove the calibration equipment. Remove the 36 millimeter wrench. You can use test sensors to lower the wheel or use the directional buttons on the electronic control unit to lower the wheel to make it easy to loosen the center bolt on the measured tire. That will help you replace the tire.